All right, fear the wing is now the battle cry, and if I were trying to stop it, I would probably fear it too. The thing about this offense is it travels. It doesn't matter what the weather conditions are. Eric, I'll tell you what, a sloppy track really doesn't affect this, this offense, does it? I mean, they know you're coming and they can't stop it anyway. That's exactly right. You know, there's no fair weather when it comes to the single wing. They rise to the occasion each and every week. Tonight was no different regardless of the situation. They're going to come out and put on a show. Cape Spring and Stanton River haven't faced each other since 2010. Single wing did damage tonight here in Roanoke County. Out to a soggy Bogle Field tonight. Stanton River getting out on top early. Check out Caleb Jones breaking tackle, scores on the play. An early 8-0 lead for Stanton River after the two-point conversion. They tore up the middle of the D-line like a bad report card in elementary school. Grayson Overstreet. Gets in on the action from 62 yards out. He had multiple touchdowns tonight, 16 nothing, still in the first. Cave Spring responds. Check out Jacob Knight up top to Cameron. Catch me if you can, Caldwell. He gets into the end zone. In the second quarter, Knight zips one to Willie Harden. Small man, big heart. Holds on to the ball for the touchdown, but the damage was done early. Stanton River, they roll in this one 62 to 21 tonight. Got off to a good start and we're able to run the football and, and get a couple stops on defense. Um, still some things we got to shore up and get better, but uh, good win for us. I think we we just had uh, open holes and our line was getting to the linebackers and we were just we were making good plays. All right, now despite this big margin of victory tonight, always something to improve on that Ch uh, Coach Chuck Poston talked about there. One of the weaknesses that the Knights did expose was the secondary of the Golden Eagles. They were able to get down the field multiple times tonight, something that Coach Poston said they're looking to shore up. And, of course, complacency. They have to avoid that. Happy? Uh, agreed, but if you don't have the football the whole game, if they're just grinding it, it really doesn't matter. That's, I guess, a different story.